Today's still life photograph took me five months to shoot. Why, you ask? Well, regarding that, I think we might need to go back a few months. More specifically, on November 4th, 2021. This was a special day. I had just received my first delivery of spring bulbs, mainly tulip and daffodil bulbs. I was determined to get it right this time after utterly failing to grow them in spring 2021. I added my tulip bulbs in a paper bag and off they went into the refrigerator to hibernate in the cold for 12 weeks. Or, in other words, they were being pre-chilled. Yes, this is actually quite normal and is what you have to do to most spring bulbs for them to be able to bloom in spring. In other places, it is cold enough outside that you can plant these bulbs in the ground in the fall and they will be naturally pre-chilled by Mother Nature. We cannot just plant them in the ground in fall, hoping and praying to Mother Nature that they will bloom. We have to artificially induce this environment for the bulbs so that they get that much needed cold weather to bloom in spring. Now these bulbs are ready to be planted in the garden. I also bought some pre-chilled bulbs from a different vendor to test out different vendors this year. And today is the amazing planting day. In 2020, when I first decided to work on my garden to table photography series, the goal was to have unique flowers that I grew myself for my still life shoots. I enjoyed the process of growing these gorgeous flowers and seeing them grow from a tiny seed or bulb into this magnificent beauty was utterly enthralling. I didn't realize back then how difficult growing a single tulip would be in my warm weather. It was a pain. <laughs> Finally, after many months, the tulips have bloomed. And it is the day of the shoot. So you paint a picture of a face. I also met a new friend who was hiding in my tulips and wanted to come along to model in the shoot. So here we go. The setup for today's photography shoot is a black backdrop and a black base. I'm using natural light that I have diffused with one of my diffusion fabrics. I'm starting with my flower frogs as usual. I don't think they're gonna stay there the way I want to, so I'm gonna have to do something to be able to have them just stick around. I have an idea in mind, so let's try that out. I have set up stands on each side of me. One of it's my light stand and the other one's a boom stand. And I'm going to run fishing wire through it so that I can hold the tulips just using the fishing wire, and then I can just easily take it off in editing. fishing wires in, I don't think I need the flower frogs, at least for now. So I'm going to keep them away and start creating the composition. If I need it, I might add it in. I wanted to capture the tulips as if they were in the garden swaying in the wind. So I decided to keep the bulbs attached to them with a little bit of soil that would replicate that feeling of being in the garden with beautiful spring blooms and newly turned soil. It is also time to bring out my little friend, have it modeled for the photograph. Even though you wouldn't do the same. It's 
it is time to leave our little friend out in the nature, but away from my garden. <laughs> bye bye, little friend, and please stay far away from my tulips. Five months and over 300 bulbs later, we finally have a photograph. <laughs> <laughs>